With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question it is given that n mole each of H2O, H2 and O2 gases are mixed at suitable high temperature to attain the equilibrium. Two H2O gases dissociate to give 2H2 plus O2 which is in equilibrium. And if y and mole of H2O are the dissociated and the total pressure maintained is P, we need to calculate the value for Kp. So to begin with, we'll write down the given data. The given data states that the number of moles for H2O, O2 and H2 is n moles each. Moving forward, at equilibrium, equilibrium moles of H2O, H2 and O2 will be N minus Y, then we will have N plus Y and N plus 0.5Y respectively. If I write down the chemical reaction which is happening, that is 2 moles of H2O gas here dissociates as two moles of hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas so at t is equal to zero we add n moles of h2 and this will be zero afterwards at t is equal to t equilibrium it will be n minus y this will be equal to n plus y and n plus 0.5y so the total number of moles will be equal to therefore total number of moles is equal to n minus y plus n plus y plus n plus 0.5y which will be equal to 3n plus 0.5y now to calculate the mole fraction so writing the mole fraction for each of the term we have for h2o it is going to be n minus y upon 3n plus 0.5y for h2 it is going to be n plus y divided by 3n plus 0.5y and for oxygen it is going to be equal to n plus 0.5y the whole divided by 3n plus 0.5y now putting this in the value for kp that is kp is going to be equal to partial pressure of p square h2 into partial pressure of o2 the whole divided by partial pressure h2o and this can be equal to therefore kp is equal to x square that is the mole fraction h2 and pressure multiplied by mole fraction of oxygen by p the whole divided by square of the mole fraction of h2o and p square here also p square will come so this will be equal to kp pressure multiplied by x square ht into x o t that is the mole fraction over there and x square h 2 o putting the value for the mole fraction which we have determined it is going to be equal to kp will be equal to taking p as common outside and it is going to be n plus y divided by 3n plus 0.5y the whole square into n plus 0.5y the whole divided by 3n plus 0.5y and this will be divided with n minus y 3n plus 0.5y the whole square so this can be equated as kp is equal to pressure n plus y upon 2 n plus y of the whole square the whole divided by 3 n plus y upon 2 divided by n minus y the whole square so this this is square this is square so this will be the value for kp for this question thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today